In this video, we'll use the master keyer to key the green screen element. Let's add an axis effect. The axis effect is your main compositing tool in the timeline. Here we'll use it to apply a keyer. Drag the focus point to the top layer. Select the green screen element. Enable the axis soft effect. Press the E button to access the Axis Editor. Inside the Axis menu, make sure the Preview mode is set to Preview Effects. This will allow you to preview the keying on top of the backplate layer. Click the Keyer button to access the Keyer module. Inside the Keyer, choose the Master Keyer. Deactivate Auto Key inside the Keyer. Start by sampling the key color. Click on the gray color pot. A picker cursor appears. On the green screen, drag from a dark shade of green to a very light shade of green. This selects a range of color to key out. And a matte is automatically generated. Notice that Auto CC is enabled by default. Auto CC is an automatic color suppression tool that removes the color spill. Choose the matte view from the view list. There are several tools that can be used to refine a matte. If you hold Alt and move across the image, it will display different matte sliders. On this particular key, there are not many significant ranges available, so we'll use other tools instead. We'll use the master keyer patches to clean the matte. By default, Sampling is set to Matte. From the Sampling menu, choose Patch 1. We'll first clean the white of the matte. Hold Ctrl and drag a rectangular selection to include little spots of light gray that you want to force to pure white. Patch 1 is automatically set to white. Now let's take care of the black. Set the sampling to patch 2. Hold Ctrl and drag a rectangular selection on dark gray areas to force them to black. Zoom out if needed. You can sample the patch multiple times. These values are added in the patch. Patch 2 should be set to black. If not, select black for it. Switch back to result view. The result is much better than what we had before, except that there is still some gray fringing around the gladiator and the walls. To fix this, we can shrink the edges of the mat. Enable Shrink under the mat tools. Be careful not to lose any of the fine details. A value of 0.6 should be sufficient. You can continue with the next bonus video if you want to color correct the shot inside the keyer. Otherwise, exit the keyer and return to the timeline. 